Sports fans, let's break right into the incredible finish of the Bulls Bucks game four, shall we? Up by six, Rose gets beat way too easily, but the Bulls defense contains and forces the ball back out to the perimeter. They ice this pick and roll, Butler rotates perfectly to the roll man, and Dunleavy and even Pau Gasol rotate out to the shooters. The clock winds down and Mayo gets the long three to go down. However, on review, it was waved off. The buzzer had already sounded. Next up, the Bulls try to spread the floor, but they've been getting killed by the double teams in long arms of the Bucks, to the tune of 26 turnovers. On the nice double of Powell, who is really struggling against these young Bucks, this was just about another turnover. But as the clock winds down, Butler says YOLO and forces up a three. Boom! On the next trip, the Bucks want to get Miritich onto Bayless, and an elbow ball screen does the trick. Pretty good contained defense, but watch how Rose never went to Dudley on the switch. So guess who gets the rebound when the ball rims out? In the scramble, the ball gets dumped to Henson, but Rose saves the day with this absolutely incredible block. Henson stays with it though, grabs the loose ball and finds OJ Mayo out top, who does his YOLO impersonation, BAM! The Bulls run a little pistol action with a handoff into a sideline screen and roll, knowing the Bucks will double this. By rolling Powell to the hole, it's Middleton who needs to rotate over. He's way too late, but Miritich can't knock down the completely wide open jumper. The Bucks escape that and run horns with a pick and roll initiation. Eventually, they get Miritich closing out on Dudley, who blows by him. This is a bad foul by Henson 90 feet from the hoop. But since they're not in the bonus, it ended up not hurting them. It's Derrick Rose's turn to just YOLO a shot, and this game is now turned into something special. The Bucks run floppy for OJ Mayo, and the Bulls defend it perfectly as they force baseline, close out on the shooter nicely, and grab the rebound. Watch Henson. You cannot tell me he's slower than Pau Gasol. Yet, on the push down the court, he is a step behind him and over to the right, can't get in position, and ends up giving up the and one to Pau Gasol to tie the game. The Bucks, out of a timeout, go to Kidd's familiar high post split, but Bayless breaks it off to attack from the top. Again, Rose gets beat way too easily, but Taj is there to protect the hoop. I really like that Tibbs doesn't call a timeout here. This is a veteran group and should know what to do. However, he somehow snuck Heinrich in there for his only playing time of the game, and the spacing with Taj, Noah, and Kirk is too tight. Not a lot of room for Rose to work with. Needing only a two to win, I like that Rose begins to attack, but Jimmy Butler foolishly cuts and brings his man into the way, allowing him to steal the ball from Rose. And here's where it gets really crazy. There was enough time for Kidd to call a timeout. However, because Middleton advanced the ball just before the timeout was called, the Bucks were not permitted to inbound the ball at half court. However, the assistants called the second timeout. Great fortune they still had it, and the Bucks were able to run this beautiful play right out of the Brad Stevens playbook. We've seen them run this to beat the Heat with a Jeff Green lob to the corner. Same action, but it was all a ruse to open the basket area. Perfect sell by Bayless, Perfect narcolepsy by Rose and perfect pass by Dudley give the Bucks their first win of the series.